Okay, it is time for the second month of You Choose. I'm so excited with how this new series on my channel has already begun to play out. I'm so proud of it and I love doing it with you guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this video is about, I will leave the link to the first video down below for you. But essentially, I am letting you guys pick a genre every month and then the following month, I will give you four book choices from that genre, theme, age group, etc and you get to vote on which one of those books I will read in the following month. So basically, you are helping me choose my TBR. And also, every book that wins a You Choose, I have to film a book review for. So not only are you helping me choose the books that I will be reading on my TBR, but you are also choosing books that you are 100% guaranteed to get a book review of. Basically, I'm trying to involve you guys more in my reading and my reading life and my channel in general. So I've chosen four books in the surrealism slash magical realism genre that I already owned on my shelves. I really didn't want to go out and buy new books, but once this genre won, all I wanted to do was go out and buy new books. I restrained myself and I chose things I already owned. And without further ado, here are the choices for March's You Choose. The first book you guys get to choose from is Big Fish. I do own a copy of this, I just can't find it anywhere, but I will leave a picture of the cover right here for you guys. This book is about a young boy and his father. His father is currently on his deathbed, but growing up, this boy always heard about how perfect his dad was. His dad was always on time for school, he never did anything wrong, he slain beasts, he was... You know, he had all of these crazy, crazy, legendary things happen about him that just seem completely untrue or unable to be true. Basically, his son on his deathbed is trying to figure out what was true from his father's life and what wasn't by recreating all the stories that his dad has told him. I've seen the movie, but back when I was like 10 or 11, like I was very, very young when I saw it. So I don't remember how it ends and I barely remember anything about it, but I do remember that it had like a really surreal feel to it. So I'm really excited about reading the book. It's also the shortest of all of the books that I'm about to show you. Next we have I Crawl Through It by A.S. King. I have read many books by A.S. King. I love this author so much. This book follows four teenagers on the verge of exploding and I quote, the anxieties they face at every turn have nearly pushed them to the point of surrender. They are desperate to cope, but no one is listening. So they will lie. They will split in two. They will turn inside out. They will even build an invisible helicopter to fly themselves far away. But nothing releases the pressure. Because, as they discover, the only way to truly escape their world is to fly right into it. I love A.S. King because her writing is so, it's just so poetically surreal. Like the whole time you're reading her book, you are literally like, is this real or is this inside a character's head? Is this actually happening? Or is this just like a, a feeling you get in real life? And when I read a surreal magical realism type novel, that's what I want. I want it to feel like it's real life, but it's unbelievably real life, if that makes sense. So like, I want it to feel like it's unbelievable that it could be true, but that when you're reading it, it still totally feels like it's true. And there aren't very many authors who do that well, or at least there aren't very many that I have read from that do that very well. But so far, A.S. King has done it impeccably, in my opinion. And I haven't read this one yet, so I'm really excited about it. Next, we have another author who does that really, really well, and that is Haruki Murakami. I chose Kafka on the Shore, although I could have chosen almost any Murakami book to fit this theme. As far as I know, this book follows a main character, Kafka, who is currently on the run, and he meets someone named Nakata, I think that's how you pronounce it, who is for some reason drawn to Kafka, but Kafka does not understand why. Apparently this is also a crazy ride of a read. There's like talking cats and fish falling from the sky. There are spirits who exit their bodies and commit murders and or have sex and it's just like it sounds exactly like what I would want from a Murakami book and it sounds exactly like what I would want from a surrealism magical realism read. Murakami's writing is always just so fluid and dreamlike and I'm also very very excited about reading this one. And last but not least we have The Dark and Other Love Stories. This is a short story collection, but as far as I know, all of the short stories kind of connect to each other in a way. This one feels like it's going to be kind of more 
almost more fantasy-ish than a lot of the other ones I have shown you already. But I'm also really, really excited about this. I got this in December for Christmas. It was part of my December book haul and I've wanted to pick it up ever since. I just haven't like had time or a reason to, but I will give you the first little snippet of the synopsis because I feel like it gives you a good understanding of what kind of surrealist this will be. The characters in these 13 masterful and engaging stories exist on the edge of danger, where landscapes melt into dreamscapes and every house is haunted. I'm really excited about this and I wanted to give you guys kind of like a bunch of different types of reads within the surrealism, magical realism theme genre. So like this is a short story collection. This is literary fiction. This is YA. Oh, I almost just dropped all of the books. And Big Fish is considered regular adult fiction. So they should all kind of be different age ranges and sections and genres all within the same like genre theme of the month. So it gives you a lot. So it gives you a lot to choose from. <laughs> okay, so those are your choices for you choose plus Big Fish, which I will leave somehow on the screen right here. I will leave the link to the Twitter poll in the description down below. For those of you who didn't participate in you choose from last month, basically for the next seven days from when this video goes live, I will have a Twitter poll linked where you can vote for which book out of the four you want me to read in March. If you don't have Twitter, you can vote in the description box down below the description box. The comments, so tired today. You can comment down below with your vote if you don't wanna head over to Twitter. However, it is a lot easier for me personally if you head over to Twitter to vote. I will also be posting these on Instagram for you guys and you can vote on Instagram if you also don't wanna vote in either of the other places. I will count all the votes wherever you vote. I will count it, don't worry about it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I will post the genre choices slash theme choices for April in the middle of March. I will post the book choices for April at the end of March, and that will be the routine going forward for all of the You Chooses. I'm really excited about you guys being involved. Also, feel free to read the book that wins You Choose along with me in March. That would be amazing. I will be posting the review for that book in March as well, and if this kind of becomes a thing where a lot of people want to be reading along with me, maybe I'll end up doing a live show every month. I am open to all the possibilities. The possibilities are literally endless. If you have any recommendations or things you want to happen within this series or just like in general on my channel always make sure to leave those commented down below as well and without further ado I'm going to end this video because it's probably way too long okay I think that's pretty much it I've given you a lot of information make sure to check out the previous you choose video if you want like a full description of what this series will be doing on my channel and other than that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and I will see you guys soon with another video happy reading bye